Toro has the highest percentage of points via the fast break than any other player in the NBA right now as underneath is Bridges and Bridges dunks. Wow, Niang and Claxton have words. Claxton's hot. You may recall that in Paris, Claxton had a dust up with Tristan Thompson that escalated. So Claxton's been in the mix throughout this season series. The last time these teams met, Ben Simmons shoved Jared Allen to the floor in Brooklyn last month. As this escalated quickly, Claxton ended up on his wallet. Niang loomed over top of Claxton. There you see George spin Claxton to the floor, and he actually thumped him right into Bridges and then had words for Claxton, who was on the floor. And not surprisingly, this will be reviewed as George stepped over Claxton, who got up and took exception, and quickly security gets in there and does so effectively to defuse the situation. Looks like uh, bowling pins going down there. George got two for one. Guys just getting a little chippy. It's, it's that time of year, man. Everybody's playing hard, and, you know, you've got to defend your territory. And, you know, the Cavaliers, and George is that guy. You know, he's he's going to he's gonna talk a lot. He's going to be aggressive. Here's Courtney Kirkland. Loose ball foul is on the Cavaliers number 20. Bruno Flores a loose ball foul. And this play is now under review for the action that happened after. No surprise there. Courtney Kirkland is our crew chief. He's in his 24th season. He's joined by referee J.T. Orr and umpire Matt Boland, a veteran crew tonight. So this is what's being reviewed currently with the assistance of the NBA Replay Center in Secaucus. Yours grabbed Claxton, swung him toward the floor, and then that ensued. So this is what is being looked at. Claxton well, didn't like that Niang was standing over top of him as George swung Claxton into his own teammate and onto the floor. So we shall see. There's been no love loss, as we mentioned, between these two teams no. in the first three meetings this season. None whatsoever. So just let them play. I mean, it was a little bit of a dust up. Nothing, nothing came of that. All three meetings this season have come on special occasions, if you will. First on opening night in October, then January in Paris. Then this happened on trade deadline day in February. That occurred in the opening minute of the third quarter. At the time that this took place, the Cavaliers were on top 59-51. How did the Cavs respond? Well, they went on a 25-2 run immediately after this to blow the game open. Six minutes later, it was 84-53. Tapped on a powder keg there. <laughs> yeah, they, they've, had, they've had their skirmishes. And let's get this one figured out. Let's get some basketball going. Let's see if we get a technical piece here. Courtney Kirkland gets it straightened out. I don't think we're looking at flagrant fouls here. We're talking oh, probably so. technical. After review, there's a loose ball foul on number 20 from uh, Cleveland. Double technical fouls on 33 for Brooklyn and number 20 for Cleveland. We'll resume play with one free throw. Nice and easy. 